and welcome back to episode 15 of Great Scott Marcus. I'm Scott, and that one's Mark, here at Ramble Entertainment. Oh god, I'm gonna throw up. Anyway, um, so, here at uh, Ramble Entertainment, where we do a show every week where we have two sets of rambles, basically topics that we just kind of ramble about. We don't really go too in-depth about them. Then we have a hype train, and now we have a main topic that we do get a bit in-depth about. So, Mark, I want to talk about, uh, this was my topic, even though you had all the rambles. Uh, (laughs) I I want to talk about maturing mentalities, because this, this week I found myself reflecting a lot on kind of how college can really shape people and the way Mm -hmm. they think and uh, how that can affect positively positive and negative change. And um, I, 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 I won't go too in detail about this start, but uh, if you want to know, I, I actually meant to tell you before we started the show, but I recently talked to a friend of mine uh, that I knew in college, and I had met his brother in college as well. Mm-hmm. And his brother actually passed away. Um, from cancer, and he he was a very uh, so like when I say this, I'm I'm not saying it because like I didn't know anything about him. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm saying it because that he was gen- genuinely super nice when myself and his brother could oftentimes be douchey or tools, and it it just had me thinking about how like I was a really nice person in high school and I mostly kept my head down and, and that didn't benefit me much. I I got bullied quite a bit. Um, and and then in my senior year, I kind of stopped taking everything and I got, I got in shape and, uh, you know, like, uh, just kind of stopped taking shit from people and started giving it. And then going into college, there was definitely that, attraction of Mm -hmm. like the don't care mentality and the party mentality and you know like being edgy and shit like that and i i don't know if you ever recall settling into this kind of mentality but I, i i truly find myself exiting it finally well i i i've been exiting it for like the past two years but um I find myself leaving it and very happy to leave it, uh, to not be so edgy, to Mm -hmm. not want to have the cool opinion for no reason, uh, to not want to, you know, like all all this, all all these fucking college mentalities. And you can even see some of, uh, these almost liberalisms, uh, coming out, uh, worse amongst colleges. I don't know if you've heard about what has gone on with uh, Mizzou, uh, mm-hmm. but um, kind of this uh, outpouring. Uh, I don't want to go too far into it. Uh, you should, and anybody else who doesn't know what's going on uh, with Mizzou, um, should look up news about what's been going on at that college, uh, a lot to do with racism and kind of um, excess- oh, yeah. excessive uh, liberalism mentalities where it's just like if you have any kind of conservative opinion, you don't really belong at college. Um, that uh, I have a more liberal mentality, you have a more liberal mentality, and we both went to college and had more liberal mentalities, but that doesn't mean we weren't accepting of conservative mentalities either. And I, I do agree with uh, some podcasters I listen to that there is, does seem to be this sentiment amongst uh, that we seem to leave just before that like college is about becoming very liberal Mm -hmm. you know acceptance of gay rights and uh transgender rights and etc etc granted those rights should easily be accepted i i really don't have arguments against those uh but i i do think you know like anybody's entitled to their opinion like this stuff shouldn't be happening and i do feel like college kind of forces mentality on people mentalities on people it doesn't affect everybody but i i do feel like i I was one of those people that it affected and uh, i am happy to be coming out of that not being Mm -hmm. douchey and being really nice and being very caring towards animals and uh not that i was like inconsiderate towards animals but like i 
I was on a polka walk yesterday, and there was uh, a, a little dead toad uh, on the path, and I was just like, oh. And <laughs> and in college, I would have been like, whatever. Yeah. God, I'm going to go drink beer. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, yeah, like, I, I just kind of want to talk about this concept of, like, how oftentimes college can kind of beat the nice out of us um, and things like that. Yeah, I've, I've never really thought thought about it too extensively um as far as uh from a more or less political standpoint between conservativeness and uh liberalness i I know there's better words for that but um i I can agree with that that i feel like college does kind of bring out more of those liberal ideals um because you're kind of just surrounded by you know like in colleges you you always have maybe, maybe not protesters per se but you know, you're walking along, at least for us, we have the Oval and there's always these, you know, these uh, student groups uh, that often uh, were supportive of liberal ideals, whether it was like, like I don't know, everything. <laughs> uh, um, like another good example, stepping outside of people's rights, equal right, rights right. it would be um, like uh, supporting abortion. Yeah, uh, as I'm thinking about it, you know, it's it's not that. I'm trying to like self reflect right now on it. You know, it's like, I still, I still have some, some conservative ideals. Um, and I know some people that have been through college and they still are very, very conservative. Yeah. Um, but, but you don't find these people speaking up as much because, right. You kind of uh, don't. And, and um, th- there also is, is this thing in college where it's like, it wants some, uh, there's nothing wrong with religion, but, mm-hmm. but there, there is, is this thing that, and, and there's nothing wrong with it wanting to challenge your beliefs. Uh, mm-hmm. To to make you kind of realize like the world isn't as much about you know these beliefs that are taught to us in uh, in our growing years as much as it is about just uh, the world around us and, and realizing it's more about fact than belief. But mm-hmm. but the beliefs aren't wrong, and uh, some of the morals that uh, they bring us up with aren't aren't entirely wrong either. You know, uh, some of them. Uh, I can't. I can't think of any that are coming to mind. But I also don't want this to be entirely about politics. Just like, right. the, like, like even even this idea of like bar culture. Like, oh, just get out there and be social and drink because it's the cool thing to do and yeah. get chicks or dudes or whatever you're into. But like, you know, <laughs> like don't don't get yeah, trees or toaster <laughs> ovens or like. <laughs> I'm gonna get so drunk I'm gonna stick my dick in a microwave. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, le- 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 and also, yeah, that that almost kind of, like, radical mentality is just like, mm-hmm. oh, they're so edgy because, like, he punched that microwave. That's, <laughs> like, so That's cool because so I've never seen anyone do that before. No, it's actually pretty dumb. Yeah. Like, um... You you might have just broken someone else's property that's quite expensive. And probably a few fingers. Yeah. Um, um, no, college definitely is... Uh... It molds the brain. Um, I am reflecting still on myself, and I've I've gone through weird phases, you know, between high school and you know since the start of high school. You know, compare me from that person now is completely different. I'm actually probably closer at my point right now to where I was at the end of high school, which is kind of bizarre. Um, you know, I was, I was, I was kind of a, like my first two years of high school was kind of like, you know, I was introverted. You know, I really didn't hang out with like three people. We really didn't do anything. I didn't socialize. And then I started working, uh, then hanging out with uh, people that were older than me, which kind of gave me a slightly uh, more mature mentality in my late high school days. You know, I wasn't out. Um, I did that. I, I'd gone to a few high school parties where people were literally chugging out of pop off like one liter plastic bottles and like i'm like what the fuck is wrong with you and i go hang out with guys i worked with that were in college and like they're drinking killians you know so it's just like you know i so i feel like i kind of had that jump start and then college happened and i also had a uh, that's when you know my accident happened in between that time and you know that was a weird definitely weird mentality you know and i think it's it's more than just college this is just life experiences but you know luckily for us and for a lot of people uh, those life experiences do happen in college, which do mature you. Um, sadly, I went through a slight immature phase, which I found out not too long ago, where um, 
uh, I met up with some old friends about it. It was like last Thanksgiving, and they're uh, recalling a time that we were out hanging out, and they're like, "You were like the biggest douche." I'm like, "Oh my god, are you serious?" <laughs> like I was so sad and upset with myself, like because it was uh, probably like freshman sophomore year of college, and this is this is ironically where I was edgy. I dyed my hair multiple colors. I had facial piercings. I was like, I was experimenting with myself and I felt like, you know, maybe some of the experimentation, you know, it was like dating around that all went right to my head. Yep. You know, I was like trying to portray something that I'm really not. And when I heard about this, I was like, are you serious? Like, I can't believe I was that bad of a person. And like my, my buddy, uh, guy that actually was good friends with in high school. He's like, yeah, you pretty much thought you were the coolest person in the world. I'm like, <laughs> Like, oh, my God, I, I, I am so sorry. Like, I really hope you guys don't think of me that way anymore. Like, I've grown so much since then. I and, uh, I had the fortune of catching myself in that moment where, like, I – someone didn't have to tell me, so it wasn't yeah. – it didn't well, feel it. Was, it. Well, actually, it almost felt no worse. Told, no one told me at the time. That's a thing. Like, so I, I, I don't know how long I had that kind of face, um, but – Obviously now, like my hair is natural color, and I don't have my piercings anymore. So it's like I feel like I, I mean, like even those, those like physical the, things, but I feel like it, it was a reflection on my own personality at the time, like experimenting and being edgy and like kind of showing off. You can obviously have piercings and colored hair and be you Absolutely. know you don't have I, to, I, yeah. and you could be the nicest person in the world, but mm-hmm. like I I didn't have those things, yeah. and I I was just in this really douchey mentality, mm-hmm. and and. Finally, I was just like I kind of caught myself, and it was just like I'm just kind of a dick, and I, I want to turn that around because that is not me. And I actually did start approaching people, and I, I was just like, "Hey, let's hang out." I, I've been kind of a dick, um, and, and be you know, like, about yeah, myself. yeah, and, and that, that was towards the end of college. Mm-hmm. Um, and I would say some of the dickiness uh, came back within my first year of pain, and. I I would love to make excuses for myself, but like mm-hmm. pain, like constant, uh, and, and it, it, it's it, it it happened, but uh, happily, especially with Jenny, um, you know, I, I've I've corrected that again, where it's just mm-hmm. like I, I I can notice that I'm angry, and I, I can deal with that better, and uh, it, like it's just yeah. part of management, yeah, um, like. There, there, there were, those. there were always these moments that would come out, and I, I think you might remember this one in particular that always reminded me of who I actually was, as opposed to uh, being uh, kind of changed by college or mm-hmm. those around me in college. Uh, and, and this one moment in particular really stands out to me, where like we were coming back from getting food, you and I, and uh, we ran to this blind woman, uh, and she. Uh, was waiting at, at all. She, she was waiting at the wrong bus stop, and so we walked her over to the right bus stop, and you were just like, dude, that was so nice of you, and I was just like, yeah, that's probably what makes me question if I'm actually going to go to hell I or do, not. Re- I do remember that. Um, like, now that you say it, like, I, I vaguely remember, because it was somewhere on High Street between, like, it was like, between, like, 14th or something, wasn't it, or... It was uh, right before Chittenden because we lived on Chit and yeah. we were like one street up, uh, I think right next to Eddie George's. I, and she was standing there, and I think she got our attention. I was like, "Yeah, let's, you know, let's go over to this bus stop." And I was yeah. like, "I believe this should be the right bus stop, but ask the bus driver, ask the people, you know, who might stand here and uh, be waiting for the bus as well, um, and have a good day." And yeah. we were walking back, and you were quiet for a second. And I was like, "What's up?" And you were like, "That was just so nice." And I was like, "Yeah, I, 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 I used Damn. to be a nice person." <laughs> um, and and like that that God that damn. that was one of those that was always just like uh, part part of it's like the learning to be around the right people for you because there there mm-hmm. was always like. I tried to be, you know, like around these people and tried to be cool and um they uh, like I I got really drunk one time because I thought it was the cool thing to do but they wound up having to take care of me and um Never ever 
ever, ever since that, like, like for some reason, that was like unacceptable, and they couldn't forgive me for that. And our, our, our I should have realized sooner, but our friendship was just ruined uh, apparently yeah. to them because of that. And that also made things worse because you know of the way they acted towards me. I thought that was a cool way to act, but uh-huh. you know, it's just like learning how, you know, like the people to be around and, uh, just how you want to be and not accepting that like being edgy and an asshole is cool. <laughs> like it's not, right. um, no, caring, caring is where it's at. <laughs> and, and, uh, I think we'll close out this first half of the topic, but I, I, I think the net, at least I want to touch on in the next half of the topic, like, uh, maturing mentally uh, as far as, like, who you want in your life as far as, like, a significant other, a, a personal mm-hmm. partner. Um, you know, like, not pining after someone, uh, mm-hmm. because I know we both did that. Mm-hmm. Um, and just learning that that's not healthy and to just kind of, like, let it go, that you don't need someone until they're just there and you realize that like this could make a good relationship and you mm-hmm. try. But mm-hmm. yeah, did you want to did you want to continue on anything in this kind of first part first? Yeah, was, um you know mentioned, you know, uh you got away from a certain immature mentality until like uh you know then the, you started having your pain issues and that remind me of uh, I ever since I was told that one time, you know, it was like I was like a bit of an ass, I was a big asshole. Um, and we were all drinking together and like every, even this happened two days ago. I mean, when I was with friends, I was pretty drunk. And at one point, I was like, God, I hope I'm not being an asshole. <laughs> like, I, I get paranoid now. It's like, you know what? I'm, I'm drinking. Cause I, I just, I talk a lot, you know, and I feel like sometimes I talk over people when I shouldn't. And, uh, uh, yeah, I'm always paranoid of it now. It's like when I'm going out with people, then I come back and I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna be quiet. I'm going to listen. <laughs> doesn't last very long but then again you know i feel like when you're you know you are drinking alcohol it always kind of brings out another part of you but But that's also a a huge part of maturing too is knowing how Mm -hmm. to communicate don't talk over one another i find my i find myself when managing uh clan members uh in warframe it's just like guys if this (laughs) is basically one-way communication i understand that it's two ways to those who would get into fucking technicalities but like you cannot you know like you can't both talk at the same time Mm -hmm. because the technology literally does not allow for that so yes i just have a problem with alcohol where it makes me want to be yeah (laughs) loud and and, and... (laughs) i'm I'm naturally just like loud and i'm I'm a leo and anybody believes in astrology you know i'm just loud and vibrant i need the attention Teach their own. Um, I, I uh, that that's just also another huge part of it. It's just like the mentality of alcohol, and mm-hmm. um, like if I, I think that's also a problem with our um, uh, our American culture, where it's just like the the age is too mm-hmm. old, um, and and I think that's once you once you yeah once you finally oh, hit twenty one, you stop caring about that. But I think actually reflectively, it's just like. If you allow someone to handle this maturely, then they're more likely just to handle it maturely. Absolutely. Alcohol brings out maturity either way, but if you can at least say, like, well, now you have to be even more responsible because we're actually legally allowing you to be responsible. Mm -hmm. I felt like as soon as that switch flipped, it was just like, whatever. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. Whereas, like, some people... It was like forbidden all their lives. Like what alcohol? Give me all of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And I feel like uh, it's just it, it's something that could be handled a lot better. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, where it's just like, oh, you haven't drank before. Well, here, let's go. You know, chill at your place. We'll have one or two, mm-hmm. and, and then you know, another time we'll we'll turn it up a notch. But instead, it's just like I've never had alcohol. Give me ten. Like, uh, do a keg stand. Yeah, yeah, things Keystone. like that. And, and it's unfortunately, it's just not cool. Uh, because like, like you think it's cool at the time, but it's just like it's... hangover sucks, and yeah. like eventually you'll end up looking stupid. You'll flirt with the wrong girl. Someone will punch you in the face, or uh, yep. any any you'll throw up on someone. Any number of things you'll have to be taken care of. Oh, how how then... terrible! Is um, all part of the 
the molding process, though, I believe, you know, like I think yeah. people go, are going to go through that and then they learn, hopefully. <laughs> yes, but, but, it's, learn, but it, it just takes but a lot longer. It, it, yeah, it's just like, is the mold really that good? Like, eh. I'm I'm so happy to be out of all that stuff, and yeah, I know I, I know part totally. of that I know part of this coming into adulthood, but it's just like even at the time, like was it that great? Like all the money that we spent on alcohol, I would do it again. <laughs> I I would not. I would oh, put shit. that money elsewhere. Um, and sorry. No, oh, I this, oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Your crouch. Oh yeah. My nice. bad, my bad. Look at, look at that! Look at that big black <laughs> microphone. It's a good thing I was wearing pants, man. <laughs> oh God! Well, <laughs> I, w- I would have, I would have edited this part out if that was the case. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, in fact, well, uh, no, because there was no real ending to that. I, I, I guess when it comes to alcohol, uh, like, and and. and experimenting in college with like drugs and alcohol and stuff like that and mm-hmm. uh, getting to know your peers socially like it's a lot easier than all, all of these like oh he said something dumb so we don't <laughs> hang out with him anymore you know yeah. shit like that like it, it's just like most most people in in college actually suck I, I, I hate to say it. Like, I sucked in college. You I mean, sucked it's... in college. We sucked each other. No, we, we sucked together <laughs> in college. <laughs> Let's not say that. Um, no, I think, you know, I, I feel like most people right now, you could say, you look back on your former self, you would tell yourself, do things differently. And you'd be like, listen, don't and, be a fuck up. Don't and, do this. And that's, don't do that. Do this instead. Yeah, that's it, a huge part of maturation and self-awareness. But Absolutely. I think it's but... in this part. I, 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 huh? So it's probably a good way to end this part here. <laughs> you have one well, more thing to say, though. But uh, if you're in college and watching this and you wonder about those around you, that's okay. You don't have to fit in. Um, uh, I would, I would often run into those that, you know, kind of didn't fit in and they were completely fine with that and Mm -hmm. they didn't have to be that going out person or like being that person who is into someone else. Like you're fine. Keep doing, keep doing that. Keep doing you. you. Yeah. Um, and, and there are going to be, uh, assholes who don't accept that too bad for them. This guy They're they're Yeah. (laughs) They, they. I mean, like, no, we, we we were bad, but we were like, there were still those who were just like, man, we that were guy. People, I think. Yeah, like, like there there were those who were just like, com- completely just, yeah, uh, jackasses or bitches, and it's just like, yes. I'm, I'm happy that I'm out of it now, but I do wish I was a bit more of myself back then, as opposed to who I thought others wanted me to be. Mm-hmm. And I'm and I'm happy I caught myself. Uh, in time to show to others around me and even in my work environment that like, hey, I'm really not this person, and mm-hmm. you know, like, I, I don't know, I'm sorry, <laughs> and and a lot of people accepted that, and that was cool. Yeah. Um, so yes. thank you to those that yeah. accepted that. That's where I'm at. The, the weird like catch. Where I'm just like, like, yeah, I wish I wasn't much of an asshole, but at the same time, I feel like since I was an asshole, that kind of still made me a little bit more of who I am now. Yeah, I, don't know, I can't. You know, it's one of those things. Like, because you never know. Like, what if I if I wasn't an asshole? You know, maybe yeah. I, I, you don't know what would have happened. You me. don't know how to catch yourself being an asshole until you've actually experienced being an asshole. Exactly. So it's like <laughs> learn learn from it. But if, if you don't have it to begin with, and yet you can recognize it in others, don't bother doing that. You know, like hundred percent. You, you say do good things. I say be a better person. Honestly, that's that's what it comes down to. Internet. Mm-hmm. We'll see you in the next half of the topic.